Uh, this isn't what you were expecting to come out on a Thursday night now, was you? Yes, this is My Hero Academia, uploaded on a Thursday, which is unusual, because usually My Hero Academia comes out on Saturdays. But there has been a change up in the schedule this week. Because of the incoming WandaVision this Friday, when I'll be watching and recording that, and with Ben 10 finishing soon enough. The last few episodes of Ben 10 will be coming out on Tuesdays as regular, but WandaVision will be taking My Hero's place on Saturdays, so that pushes My Hero Academia up a bit to, to, to Thursdays, which means, unfortunately, Batman has temporarily been put on hiatus, Batman the Animated Series, because out of the three shows that I usually watch, Ben 10 is finishing soon, it doesn't make sense to put that on hiatus right just right now, and I just enjoy My Hero Academia too much to stop it, so unfortunately Batman had to be left out. But once once uh, once Ben 10 actually finishes, Batman will probably be moving up to ba uh, Ben 10's spot on Tuesdays. So the week the week used to go is Tuesdays I would upload Ben 10, Thursdays I would upload Batman, and Saturdays I would upload my hero. The new one will be after Ben 10 finishes. Of course, it will be. Tuesdays Batman, Thursdays My Hero, and Saturdays WandaVision or whatever whatever MCU Disney Plus show will be coming. This this is probably a temporary arrangement because we'll we'll just see where everything goes. Because when these when these videos come out on YouTube four weeks later than I'm recording, I'm not gonna try and predict the future because I've because. I've been bitten in the arse so many times when I've when I've been saying things are going to happen in my YouTube videos, and then four weeks later, something different has complete something completely different has happened. So, yeah, I'm not going to try, but I have no problem with this because it means during the week I get to watch My Hero Academia. I'm so excited, and so soon after the last episode as well. So, you early accessors on Patreon, you are going to be getting. For at least the next couple of weeks, or few weeks, you're going to be getting five weeks in advance on thing on my on my Patreon because I believe episode episode four is the next one to come out on YouTube, and this is episode eight. So if you're watching on Patreon right now, before before Saturday, that means you get episode four, five, six, seven, and eight on early access. So that is lucky on you guys, temporarily, of course. Once, once the four weeks passes by, my hero will be going onto YouTube, on, on Wednesday, on Thursdays even. I keep I keep saying Wednesday, because I'm recording on Wednesday, but they upload on Thursdays. So, yeah. Last week with the the whole brackets finale starting, I watched a few reactions and I saw that a lot of them, a lot of the channels that I watched, they actually made their own tournament predictions for what's going to come and so i decided to do the same so i've made my i've made my bracket here and i've basically predicted what's going to happen i mean the first two matches i've they're already in the bag we know those happened so let's have a look at my bracket okay so this is the full thing from start to finish obviously at the bottom down here we have deku and shinzo that's already that's already in the bag with Deku winning. The next one was Todoroki versus Sero. Todoroki won that we saw it. Now onto the matches that we haven't seen yet. Kaminari versus I've heard through the grapevine, which is one of her hair strands. Ibarra, Ibarra is her name apparently. This was a bit of a difficult match to predict, but in the end, I just had to go with Ibarra winning because I remember that she came fourth place, just behind our three leaders in the in the race, in the obstacle course, and her and Tetsu Tetsu were obviously brought back for a reason, and we've seen a lot of Tetsu Tetsu so far, not so much of her, so I think we're going to see a bit of her strength shown off in this, so I think Ibarra's going to take this fight. Next one is Ida versus Hatsume, quite fond of both of these characters, but I think Ida should take this. He got, he got a bit of love in the cavalry battle, but I, I feel like I still need to see a bit more of him. He's too big a character to just throw away in the first round. 
Next one was Yuga and Mina. Now this is this was probably the most difficult one to predict because it does not matter which one wins. This is the most useless match in the entire bracket. In the entire tournament even. Because neither one of these people is going to last that long. So I just went with Mina. Next is Tokoyame versus Yairozu. Now this is going to be a match because they're both very powerful and originally I was going to go with Yaya Rozu because she entered into the school on recommendations and she has not been given as much love as Todoroki has who was also admitted on recommendations so I thought they would have given Yaya Rozu a chance to shine here but I think Tokoyami's had too much screen time and he was he's also in the opening the opening credits of this the intro of this show so I think Tokoyama is going to win this fight, even though I'd love to see Yairozu shine a bit. Tetsu Tetsu versus Kirishima. These two have been on a collision course from the beginning. The Titanium guy versus the Rock guy. I did think about having Tetsu Tetsu win this to give him a good showing, like he, just like Ibarra. But I went with Kirishima instead, simply because of who he's going to be facing after this match. Which leads us into the last match of the first, the first round. Uraraka versus Bakugo. And out of all the matches, besides the ones that have already been in, uh, have already been shown to us, this was the easiest one to predict. Uh, Bakugo is taking this hands down, and it is going to be heartbreaking to see Uraraka go out, especially after the scene in the first episode, the premiere of this season, when we had the little flashback of her promising that she'd help her parents when she grows up. This might also double as a chance to really get you to hate Bakugo again. Bakugo's taking this because him, Deku and Todoroki have been circling the top spot since the beginning and there's no way they'd give Bakugo up in for Uraraka. Now moving on to the second round. Deku versus Todoroki. This is so hard to predict. Well it was so hard to predict because Deku is our main character. He is the one we follow throughout the sh show. But this show has shown me that you don't necessarily need Deku to be the one that you follow. Like, this show does a great job of giving you giving attention to all the characters. And we've built up the story with Todoroki so well. I think Todoroki is going to take this fight. Now, that might seem a strange choice considering Deku's our main character, but... Like I said, Todoroki has been getting so much attention, has such a good story to go through, that I think Todoroki has got to take this fight. Next is Ibarra versus Ida. Ibarra's had a good showing so far. Well, Ibarra, I hope Ibarra has a good showing so far. And Ida is one of our favourite characters. He's, I, th I think he's a fan favourite character. And I think Ida's got to take this because he constantly loses. He constantly doesn't get the attention he deserves. And... I feel like we're going to give him a bit of a chance to shine here. He got a bit of it in the cavalry battle, but uh, the f the first the first competition of this this whole this whole festival was a race, and he didn't win it despite having super speed. So, I think Todoroki versus Ida is going to be a great fight. Then moving on to the next side of the bracket now is Mina versus Tokoyami. Tokoyami has taken this hands down. There is no way they'd give him up. There's no way the writers of this show would give him up in exchange for Mina. So yeah, Toko Tokoyami wins this fight. And into the final match of the second round. I didn't I didn't really think about this match until I saw how the bracket was lined up. Kirishima versus Bakugo. The the potential of having this match was what got me to change my mind on the Tetsu Tetsu Kirishima fight. Because Kirishima and Bakugo have been getting a sort of friendship going on. Unsteady friendship. At least on Kirishima's end. Bakugo just doesn't doesn't give a shit. But yeah, Kirishima versus Bakugo. We've got to have those two collide at some point, and here's the great, here's the good chance to do it. Here's the greatest chance to do it, really. Bakugo's got to take this because he's been circling the top spot for a while. There's no way he's, he'd lose to Kirishima. But yeah, Bakugo takes the the last match of the second round, which leaves us with our final four: Todoroki, Ida, Tokoyame, and Bakugo. Todoroki and Ida would be the first match. That's going to be a hell of a match to see. I'm, and I'm waiting for it. I pray that they do this. Unfortunately, Todoroki 
he, he's got the better storyline, so he's got to take this. So Todoroki versus Ida, with Todoroki winning to advance to the finals. And then Tokoyame versus Bakugo. Same as before, Bakugo, he's not going to be kept from the top spot, even by Tokoyame. So Tokoyame versus Bakugo is going to be a sick fight, but Bakugo is going to take the win here to advance to the finals against Todoroki. Now that is going to be a final to watch, Bakugo versus Todoroki. Though Those two have a tense a tense relationship because with Deku out of the picture, Todoroki and Bakugo are the, f are the final two of our trinity and they've got a face off. Despite Bakugo saying that he's going to win, I feel like Todoroki is the one who should take this, this final, this final shot and win the entire tournament. Whether that is by using his fire powers or not, I don't know. Todoroki versus Bakugo, Todoroki takes the win as well as the whole tournament. And that is my predictions for this whole contest from now on. So, I can only hope I'm right. I'm probably going to be wrong on one or two matches, but I feel like, I think I'm happy with my top four. But I feel like some in the first and second round I might get wrong. Well, actually, no, I can't, I can't be wrong. If I'm, if I'm confident about my top four, then all, my ma all the matches in the second round have to go my way. But yeah, there's some in the first round that I might get wrong, like the Kaminari versus Ibarra, the Yuga versus Mina, I might get those wrong. So those are, those are the two matches that I'm concerned about, but everything else I think is pretty straightforward, at least it should be. But yeah, I think I've messed about enough, I'm 15 minutes into the recording and I haven't started the video yet. So shall we just get into My Hero Academia Season Two episode eight now on Thursdays starting now. Oh yes, I'm anxious about this match. Battle on challenges. Okay. Is she a hippie? Man, she's so cute though. This is terrible. This is a is this is this her part of her power? Or is this just a weakness on Kaminari's part? 1.3 What? Whoa! There we go. Ibarra takes it. <laughs> He's gonna. Bakugo's gonna kill him before he makes his next match. I thought you stopped this, man. We're moving through the matches fast now. Oh, yeah. She's students can't use support gear unless they have to. And you didn't fill out any of the proper paperwork for that. I didn't know that was the rule. I respect her integrity. That's why to honor her, I would like to wear this gear. That's youthful vigor. I'll allow it. Really? Really? She's sabotaging him. She's gonna sabotage. She's showing off to the. Yeah, she's showing off to the companies. Is he? Okay. Yeah, she's showing off. You're not losing, man. I can't believe she's done this. And she just walks away. So I'm doing pretty well so far on my predictions. This is the other one I'm I'm worried about. <laughs> Woo! Look at her go. Stomach ache. <laughs> oh, 
That's it. I think all of my predictions are right from this point on. I don't know. Maybe Tetsu Tetsu and Kirishima could screw me over. <laughs> oh, this could this could screw me over as well. I forgot. Uh oh. He's not giving her the time. He's won. She's. Oh, he didn't give her time. Amazing, but so sad for her. At least we're actually getting a proper fight now. Or maybe not. I don't think Bakugo would use the full power of his explosions on a girl, right? He would. He would. I've got a plan for how you can use your quirk against Kachan. It's not much, but I did my best. Hey! Well, nice. Perfect. But no. Sorry. What? But now that I think about it, I might have been trying to rely on you to get by. That's why. When Ida said that he was trying his best to beat you, I actually felt kind of embarrassed for myself. Guess I'll see you in the finals. Oh. <laughs> These guys are just gonna smoke fest each other. <laughs> wow. They destroyed each other. I suppose I suppose I'm wrong there, but it was a draw. This is going to be a slaughter fest. As much as I don't want it to be, it's going to be a slaughter. He's going to have no mercy on her. Oh. I knew it. Ooh. Now this, things are moving along faster now, a bit of a faster pace, but for these matches, I guess we needed it. And I don't, I, I think I need to, I, think, I just think I need to remind you all that the last like seven episodes or so have taken place in just one day. Like, the Sports Festival started in episode 2. We're now in episode 7, or 8 even. And, yeah, episode 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's all happening in just one day. And I can only imagine the next however many are going <laughs> to take place in the festival as well. It's all happening in just one day. Apparently the Sports Festival is supposed to be one of the biggest events like, people don't care about the Olympics anymore, they watch the UA Sports Festival. It's only one day long. The, the Olympics usually lasts about a week, or maybe two weeks even, I can't remember, but... This sports festival only lasts one day. But yeah. Okay. The first match of the, first match of the day was Ibarra Shiozaki, the hippie, against Kaminari. He immediately just went out with his entire 1.3 million volts, and she just she just blocked from it and wrecked him. Because the second he threw that that shock out there, he was an Id he just became an idiot and completely defenseless against her. Not to mention he was very smitten with her as well, so maybe that maybe that contributed to it. But yeah, she's a hippie. She just wants to spread love and understanding. And she wants peace. Shiozaki joins Todoroki and Deku in the in the second round. So that's our third our third quarter finalist. Then we moved on to Ida versus Hatsume. 
not exactly how I thought things would go. She just turned the match into a showcase of all of her, all of her inventions, and it lasted for over ten minutes. And she was just throwing Eda about the place, but despite that, after she was finished, she just walked out of bounds, and she, and she let she let Eda take the match. What do I expect? I mean, for some reason, the the creators of of this story they enjoy making Eda look like an idiot. But I don't care. He it's he he looked it looked it was funny. It was funny. It was very funny, and the right person advanced to the next round. Ah, so fourth finalist Tenya Eda, and oh yeah, Hatsume has got a. Obviously, Hatsume has a quirk, but we never knew what it was. She's zoom. She can see for miles and miles. I suppose that helps when she's she's making her invention she can see the most microscopic things so i assume that helps with her with her inventing if she if she can see incredibly well but yeah all throughout the day deku was just analyzing every single match like he used to do in his old school <laughs> and just constantly pissing bakugo off i was half expecting everyone to start laughing at him but i guess they're not like that here thank god after a while, well, at so earlier on, Uraraka just left Deku, I suppose, to get ready for a match. And Deku didn't notice until much later on. And he came to her and offered to offered his book, his notebook, for a way to beat Kachan. Which is nice, it's a nice thing to do. She doesn't want it. She doesn't want it. She wants to do it on, on her own. She doesn't want to depend on Deku. Which I understand. It, it's good that she's trying to stand on her own two feet. She's not Deku's sidekick and everything. The other matches as well. Mina versus... I can't remember his last name, but Yuga, the belly button guy. <laughs> I was surprised I got that right. And it was a surprise, It was a surprisingly entertaining match. Quick though. But all of the matches in this episode were quick. She straight jawed him. She she broke his jaw and knocked him out. She even pantsed him, much to the utter disappointment of Mineta. The sad match, I would I'm gonna say Momo versus Tokoyami. And to be honest, Yaya Rozu is very powerful and I didn't know really what her limitation was, besides she can't create living objects and she has to know the, the structure of everything. But her her biggest weakness is she needs time to prepare. She needs time to make the things she wants to make. And Tokoyami took advantage of that and just took her out of the match very quickly. And it sucked that it was over that fast. I wanted to see a good fight. I wanted to see a good showing for the two of them. It was a good showing for Tokoyami, but... Uh, so maybe we'll get a decent show of her at some point, but it wasn't today, sadly. Tetsu Tetsu and Kirishima, they just slugged each other until they were both out cold. They're just a complete match for each other. Maybe they could be a tag team or something. That'll be cool. A super a superhero tag team. They've both just got the same powers. They can just bludgeon each other to death. They're a complete match to each other. Last match is coming up, and regrettably, it's incredibly predictable, more so than most of the matches on this on this entire tournament. Bakugo versus Uraraka. He is going to destroy her. I hope she she's I hope she gets some good offense in, which I think she will. Because the end of the episode with it about to start, so I imagine most of next episode is gonna be that fight. So she's gonna get a few good bits in here and there, but Bakugo's taking this, no question about it. It's gonna suck. And we're probably going to hate Bakugo even more. Well, we've been warming up to Bakugo a bit because he's also very funny when he's angry. But this is going to... I think this match is designed just so that we can hate him again. So we, they've designed it so that we hate him. So it's going to be more satisfying when he loses in the fi the finals. I think that's what the creators of the story designed for us there. Which... <sighs> Considering how they they set up Uraraka's motivation in the first episode, 
we are going to hate Bakugo at the end of this next fight. We just are. The, t the draw between Tetsu Tetsu and Kirishima is good as well, is different as well. It leads me, it leads me to assume that maybe we're not going to get the typical turn. Uh, we're not going to get the typical eight, turn into eight competitors, then four, then two, then a winner. Is it possible we could get a diff? Maybe Tetsu Tetsu and Kirishima are taken out of the thing and then out of the whole fight and then maybe imagine if we could have a triple threat a, a three-way fight for the in the final with Deku, Todoroki and Bakugo imagine that very little showing of Todoroki this episode as well I think we only saw him for that last few seconds before Bakugo and Uraka's matches started I think that was the only part we've seen of him this episode I'm so glad I didn't have to wait as long for this as I usually do because usually I have to wait the full week before I see my hero episode I only had to wait five days for this, so I'm happy. If you want to see the full reaction to this episode, go over to Patreon for the $3 a month. If you want to see early access to this, which if you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch all the way up to episode 9, 10, 11, 12, if you want. That's for the $5 a month tier, and I've recently started uploading on the $10 tier for Patreon, which is for full-length movie reactions. There should be a poll up on my Patreon, for which movie I react to at the end of February, because that's when this comes out on YouTube. But whenever you're watching it, there should be a there should be a poll up on my Patreon of the movie that I will watch on Patreon at the end of the month for for the ten dollar tier patrons. So happy to be on my Hero Academia earlier in the week. I don't I didn't have to wait as long, but I'm gonna have to wait seven days. I'm gonna have to wait the normal seven days now until I watch the next one. But yeah. That's all we've got time for this week on My Hero Academia. Until next time, we are over and out.